Hello everybody, welcome to the Soul Reaver Any% Percent speedrun tutorial speedrun. I've got a save file for after the intro and we're going to start from there. And go. Now, in the actual game there's a cutscene that's 1 minute and 41 seconds long. Don't worry about how I timed it. No way to skip it, so just sit there, you know, have a good time for a minute and 40 seconds. After that all you're doing is running and jumping and triggering this cutscene. Run over here and jump into that circle, no big deal. Just the fastest way to trigger that cutscene. After that, just do more running and jumping. Like your life depended on it. Which it doesn't. But your you know what? Your speed run will depend on it. And another cutscene. You should be calling this cutscene the game. The interactive experience sponsored by Quantic Dream. Now for this one you want to jump towards and slightly to the left of this geezer which is erupting souls. That's the sort of fastest way to trigger the animation to swallow the souls. You'll see what I mean when I actually do it. And during cutscenes don't be afraid to hold the action, not action, but the direction in which you're about to go after the cutscene because the game will just propel you in that direction. You'll actually get a slight head start. So see how I'm slightly to the left? And as you may see, the souls are not even animating, they're just going straight into me. Which is how we like our souls. Now just jump onto these, jump into here, and it's a crouch jump. Get here, now we're going, what we're going to do is called Breakout. Just remember Breakout. Crouch, pan left, pan right, open glyph menu, until it zooms into the back of his head. Like so. You can let go of crouch, and then you can close the glyph menu. Now crouch jump, and then the height of the jump, another crouch jump, just like that. And that's how you get over a lot of terrain in this speedrun. Now this slower fight can come in two variations. Okay, we've got a green and an orange. Green and orange is slightly better and less glitchy. What we need to do here is we kill the green one, just straight up. It's best to lock on here, use the lock on mechanic. We just run towards them, lock on. Do a combination of two or three hits. Hit this guy once. Watch him lunge at you and hit him three times. And that is how you do that fight. Because if they're less than three health, they run away. So that's why you hit that orange guy once to put him down to three health. Sometimes there's both they're both um, yellow health. And if they're both yellow health, that means they're both gonna take five hits. So you kill one, and then just bear in mind the other one's got five hits. So you you hit them twice instead of once. And that will mean that you will it's essentially the same, but you just need to hit them twice instead of once. Now for this, you can hold left and tap down and you will land in the portal in this jump. So just do one jump, you're holding left, holding left, jump, press down and you're in the portal for easy material realm switch. Now, here is just running and jumping again. Nothing too mental. Now, for this jump over the water, you want to make sure that you are jumping just before you fall into the water. Like, you almost see the animation of you walking into water. Like, you see the ripple, the white ripple into water just before you jump. You'll see what I mean when I do it. So, you see the white ripple? I did it a bit too early, but you usually see the white ripple and that's a perfect jump. You don't even need to glide if you get the jump right. Now here, do breakout again, the exact same breakout setup. Close the glyph menu. This time, instead of we're going, instead of doing a crouch jump, we press action. Walk to the left and that means we can go through this door during the cutscene. Wow, exciting. It's also good to point out, once you've done the crouch jump or whatever, that is when when you do the first crouch jump or when you press action is when you can let go of pan left and pan right until then you need to keep them held okay that's very important now here's just a jump glide a glide late because it's slightly faster another breakout crouch jump crouch jump that exact timing glide to make sure that i've got over the cutscene wall crouch and press action as you crawl over go to what forward and three to the left. The reason why we're crouched and flipping the block is because that does not trigger a cutscene. 
while just pressing the block does. And I'm not going to demonstrate it. This is a speedrun, tutorial speedrun. See again, just crouching and pressing action. Crouch jump up here. Now it's important when you're jumping onto the block to not accidentally walk into it, because that will trigger the cutscene that you've just spent all that time avoiding. Now, run to this corner until you don't move anymore, either left or right, like that, and you'll see this menu glitches now. When you see a glitch, start opening and closing the glyph menu pretty quickly. And once you're moving with the glyph menu up, you've got what's called time stop. So the game doesn't actually know where you are right now. Jump over here. Come to this block. Close the glyph menu. Now the game knows that you're next to a block. Now you put up the glyph menu because now it keeps on thinking that you're next to a block no matter where you go, which is very important for going through walls. Jump over here. Get slightly left of this torch. Press crouch. Face this way. Press action. Then wait until you see him sort of struggling in that corner, then press jump and glide to the left. Stuck in the corner, jump, glide to the left. See? Come over here to this door, and that will load the zone. Jump over here. Now what we're doing is crouching. Oh god, I'll go a bit here. What we're doing is crouching and pressing action, and hopefully it will put us through this wall. Yep. Once the animation stop, jump or glide, and or glide and walk through here. Now, crouch, press action, hopefully you get in the water. If you don't, ah, you'll be fine. Get over here, press action, you go through this door. On a serious note, if you don't get um, in the water, go back through the archway and come back through again. Now, you go here, and we're going to press action and immediately glide to the right. So press action, immediately glide to the right. Wonderful. You want to jump and glide to the right, sorry. And you walk slightly backwards to load the zone. Come over here, press action, happy days, you got through. Now, if your camera goes funky or you've got to this part of the speedrun, what we're going to, need to do is remove time stop. It's less funky over here, sometimes it's funky in your geographical location. Now you press pan left, pan right, close glyph menu, keep them held, open glyph menu again. Oh, it didn't work. So you should do that once you press pan left and pan right and open glyph menu then you close the glyph menu after you've let go of pan left and pan right and now you should be able to walk without the glyph menu and then you just open this door and this is you into cane one now there is a predetermined way of how cane one works if you don't move before he spawns and then if you move a specific way after you hit him once now I'm going to show you the exact pathing, and it's what's called Perfect Cane. Well, Perfect Cane 1, I suppose. Now, things to discuss. We've got a cutscene to go through. I think if there's anything that you need to know at this point. Um, so to, go, to recap, we've got Time Stop and we've got Breakout. That's your main sort of glitches, as it were. So Breakout. It's when you're crouching, pan left, pan right, these are all being held, open glyph menu, close glyph menu, and you can let go of crouch at that point, but not pan left and pan right, then you're either doing double jump, which is a crouch jump, and at the very top of the jump, another crouch jump, or you are activating a door, which is you're just pressing action, and then you're walking usually to the left, because the door is opening in front of you. If the door is open away from you, then you can walk forward, but that door that we're using it for opens towards you, so you need to move to the left quickly in time for the door opening and then running through before the camera angle changes. If you're not hitting the ledge, it's because you're not waiting late enough to do your crouch jump, or you're not crouching during your second jump, which is what I was doing for the longest of time. Okay, so this cutscene's almost over, so he's gonna show a sword at us as if we're intimidated, but we're not. So just bear that in mind. Cain's ancient age, older than any of us, a thousand times more deadly. The legends claim that the blade was possessed and thrived by devouring the souls of the victims. For Imagine if this was the world record pace and I'm wasting it on a tutorial. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. I mean, it already isn't. Okay, so wait until he spawns. If you hold pan left and right, you face the right way. Come over here, 
Lock on. Press action. Jump over to the left. Get to this corner. And he spawns over here. So all we're doing is holding left when they're jumping. And it gets us to the right corners. And hit him again and that's it done. So after all hits, you're holding left. And you're only jumping once after you hit him. If you are jump again or too fast, it changes the spawn again. So you need to only jump once so you're slow enough at getting to those points. But both but that route, you're holding left both times. So it should be easy to remember. It's usually just the nearest corner to you. Now this is another cutscene which you can't skip. Unless you do the world record route, which I don't know how to do, so I'm not doing that. Well, I know how to do it, I just can't. So you're, this is only going to be second place space, really. I say second place space, I'm third place currently in the leaderboard, but my sum of best segments is second place. So, I am skilled enough, I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> That's enough about me, how are you? How are you doing? Are you enjoying the speedrun? I'm not. <laughs> no, that's a lie. I'm having a great time. There's not really much I can tell you at this point. Um, this is a save and reload. You do a lot of it in all bosses in different categories. But in any percent, you only do it once. Any percent speedrun should take you under half an hour if you're doing this route. If you if it's taking over half an hour, something's went very badly wrong. Or you're me. I can currently do this consistently between 25 and 26 minutes. So I'm hoping this tutorial is around the 25 minute mark. Because I'm obviously taking a few extra time to speak to you. But we could get WR for fastest any percent tutorial. In fact, I think we will. I don't think anyone else is speedrunning tutorials. Uh, I'm trying to think, is there anything I can tell you before we actually get to it? No, I don't think there is. I can explain how time stop works. That's, how we, that's what we can do. So time stop... When we walked into that corner, we were actually straddling loading zones. So the way the game works, it loads zo the one zone, then the other zone. One zone, then the other zone. Sort of alternating. Raziel has a middle sort of point. He has a midpoint, which sort of loads Raziel where he is. And that is his idle animation, as you can see, he sways left to right. And that swaying left to right is actually moving his midpoint between loading zones. And that's what's causing that menu to glitch out and go and flash because the flash is actually his midpoint crossing loading zones there we go so you save doesn't need to be called big chance just mine is then you load it and now we're in yet again all we're doing this no cutscene this time this is now the second half of the, of the speed run going to king 2 she's running and jumping now it is important that, see look, there's no cutscenes to prepare for here. But all cutscenes you've skipped in Kane 1, you also must keep skipping. Which means we need to do those double jumps that we did before. So we don't need to collect these souls. Get up here. So we have to do this double jump again. Which I'm sure you're now a master at breakout. Why is it called Breaker, you may ask? I'm the wrong person to ask. See, if you get over here and do crouch jumps, you don't get the grabbing animation, which is faster. I'm just not very good. Right. Get into Material Realm. So it's almost the same route. Now here, need to make sure you don't lose the Soul Reaver. And we didn't. Wonderful. So we can do Breakout here again. If we want. It's a bit risky because now we need to jump over this time to the left. Oh, I don't want to go too far. Because this time if we do break out and then double jump here, we can actually get into this ledge. Wow. As Owen Wilson would say. Now we're doing the exact same thing as before. Walk over here. 
spamming it or double tapping it until we can move with the glyph menu open as in time stop jumping over here walking around here store position next to block crouch jump sometimes the game crashes here because you lo you cross a loading zone it's called cane 2 error and it's horrible you know make you hate the game with all your might exact same setup here sometimes animation will play if it does you just wait until the animation is and then well, wait until the animation is done then do your jump over just like you do with the skip that's um, over there, just the same as that skip. You just wait till the animation's finished before you jump, which is very important in terms of timing. It's also important that you're holding the direction before you jump, because if you don't, bad things happen. Sometimes it doesn't sort of detect your jump, and you'll just fall onto the floor and you'll cry. Now, crouch here. Oh, we're going to do another double jump over this cutscene. Which is just as thin as the other one so it's just a short glide here another double jump and glide over here now there's multiple ways to do this next bit there is people in the community who there are people in the community who hate the way i do it there's a way where you can jump over there but I, what i do because my tutorial fuck them is go into Spectral Realm, then do double jump, and get up here. That's how I do it. There's a way that you can jump to the left, then jump on round, but there's a chance you might fall into the water. So if I just, if you just Spectral Realm switch first, well, you can't fall into the water if there's no water there. You just switch here. Now, this time stop's really annoying. What I recommend is crouching and pressing forwards towards towards this wall until you see the menu start to glitch like that like that and then you get time stop there now you store your position next to this guy hi guy just like you would with the block you want to make sure you're pretty close to him because what we're going to do is now stab this is called tele stab very important now oh, stand on this rock press stab you get here whoa Store position next to this dude. Go to the right of this grate. Press stab. Wow, look at you speed running. Very important. Cross this loading zone, which is this black line on the floor, as you may see. Or else this next bit won't work. Store position next to this guy. Go back. Cross loading zone again. Your magic. Now come to the right of this crevice, press stab. Jump over here to the left, load zone. Hold aiming, like the lock on, like you would did for the Dimakin fight. Put your right foot in line with the right side of those sort of hieroglyph that sort of column of hieroglyphs. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna press stab, then immediately pause the game. Like that. Then you wanna unpause, then repause in about a third of a second. And as you may see, you're sort of in the wall. This time it didn't work. But this happens. See, the way you're timing it is you want him to be inside the wall when you re-pause re the game. If he jumps forward like that, that's fine. Just lock on and reposition yourself. The positioning is tricky, so don't feel disheartened. Like that. Now, the way I do it is lock on, press forward a bit. So the camera angle changes so you know where you're jumping. You, if you, Once you get good enough, you can just jump. But I fell through the floor before, so I do not recommend that strat at all. Now if you go here, then fall, and then sort of aim left, you land in this corridor. Because you want to be in this corridor. Now, run up to this point here. And run back past this path here. And do that three times. So that's my first time. Oh, my first time. Oh. Second time. And third time. Wonderful. Jump down here, hold left and down because you want to get to this door. Now, you want to jump and then when he's squatting down for his jump, press stab. So he's squatting, press stab. Once the animation's over, you want to jump and glide back over to the corridor. You want to come around here, just running and jumping. A lot of running and jumping in the speedrun. Now get to the sort of right of this door, like that. Do the exact same thing, but this time, 
We're jumping over to the right. Come about here. Press stab. Sort of just when you hit the rim of that tub. I think the keeping thing is a pill when it's not. Store position next to this guy. He probably has a name. Jump and glide over here. Get over here. Be careful not to fall off. Get to about here. Do the exact same jumping stabbing time. So it's just as he's squatting for the jump. It's not too difficult to time, but it just takes a bit of practice. Crouch till you're at the edge of this. Just a difficult crouch jump. You just crouch and glide and get in on here. It's just a difficult crouch jump. Not too difficult. I don't need to dwell on it. Get over here. There's this guy here. You want to store your position next to this guy this time. I'm using sort of lingo because you should have learned what storing position means. It just means putting down the glyph menu and then bringing it back up. It's not, it's not, it's not difficult. Come on, guys. You just want to jump over here, get to this corner, press stab, wait a little bit because you want to glide into this corridor. And this is the that was the last glitch of the game. Look, 20 minutes, and we're done with the glitches already. And we're about to hit the final boss fight, which is a long cut scene, admittedly. But hey, what can you do? Not much. So if if you brought took off time stop here, I would probably gut you and find out where you live. So please don't. You want to just chill out, drink your water, eat your vitamins, and just do your running and jumping. Because there's a million, this is the hallway of cutscenes. Don't mess with it, because it will mess with you. And you don't want that. Especially not when you're looking for a new PB. Now, there is a more in depth tutorial on my channel. But that tutorial is already outdated. That was an old route that only got me to about 27 minutes, 35 seconds. With this new route, I'm now easily getting 25 minutes close to getting second place so <laughs> this tutorial is technically better now you just go to the left here I hope I've explained everything pretty well now here remember remember how to get away time stop like you do at came one pan left pan right Close glyph menu, open glyph menu with them still held, then let go of left and right, close glyph menu, and now you can open this door. Wow! Now if we add 1 minute 40 to this time, that is roughly the speedrun. So yeah, Kane says he wishes you'd been there sooner, even though you've just got here in about 20 minutes instead of about 5 hours that the game usually takes. Oh. Now this fight is pretty easy. It's pretty much the same as the game one. It's got a very predictable route if you don't move. Now in the other one where you stabbed him, where you hit him, and then you sort of went a specific path to force him to spawn, in this one we're actually staying still and he always spawns the same place. All you do is count to three. That's all you need to do. Just count to three. long as a single one of us stand, we are legion. And that is why so the key things to take away from the speedrun. Can you do breakout correctly? If so, great. Can you get time stop correctly? If so, great. Do you know the route? After that, that's pretty much everything. The rest is just practice. And the stuff before that was also just practice. Speedrunning is just practice. If you try this and you don't succeed, it took me about 700 attempts to get me to where I am now. I have put 160 hours now into this game. And that's mainly just speedrunning. Okay, okay, about 20 hours wasn't speedrunning, but about over 100 of those hours were solely speedrunning. I have done 10 hour live streams of just doing this 25 minute speedrun. So, and as you may see, I still mucked up. I still mucked up there at the lantern, but 
because I just didn't get the lineup precise. A lot of stuff in this game is precise. But you could just pause the video and you'll see my exact lineup. Now it is important to stress there are certain things which there are variables. Hardware is a variable. So sometimes you may need to alter your position slightly to get the same effect. Just because the game will be loading slightly differently. So just bear that in mind, you may have to alter slightly to what I'm doing. My game may be more flexible than yours, it may be less flexible than yours. But we are closing to the end of this cutscene. A good thing to do is memorise the cuts, the last two, three lines of dialogue. So you can rest your hands and you can do this. But if you memorise the sort of last two or three lines of dialogue, you can get ready. See what game you're playing. Destiny is a game, is it not? Now, I'm going to wait to just move. So now I know to get ready. Now here, hold left and right. One, two, three. Come over here, stab him. If you hold left and right, remember, you face the correct direction or where Raziel's facing. It becomes very important, especially in these first two hits. But all I'm doing is counting to three before I hit him. That's all I'm doing. One, two, three. Even though he's not spawned, I know when he's going to spawn. So it's that's him for the second time. And this last one is a bit trickier. One, two, three. Because you have to jump over here, jump over here, crouch jump, and hit him. And that is Soul Reaver. Any percent. Speedrun tutorial. Speedrun. Thank you for watching. Any comments? What? Any questions? Ask in the comments. I am usually available to answer them. And that's how you beat Soul Reaver in half an hour.